Okay, so to start off with, whenever you work with the opacity map, obviously open up your opacity map. And then make a new layer. I think it's Control Shift C, but I just there's the button right there. And then duplicate it by clicking this button. On the top layer, just play around with it at first. Just get a white brush, pen, airbrush, whatever you want to use, and just doodle some lines. Doesn't matter where. You're just doing this so that you get a general idea of what's going on. This part right here is the collar. So whatever you draw here is going to show up. And these are the sleeves. And you can just color on them. And now come over here to the middle layer and drag the black onto it just to fill it in. And there you go. And save that. I already have it saved. Then come to IMVU. And over here in the second square, this is where the opacity map always goes. Open it up. Put it on there. <laughs> and there you go. As you can see, everything that you colored white will show up on the on the avatar whenever you apply it. And everything that is in black will not show up. So that's pretty much how it goes. And you can also start a new layer again and fill it with white and obviously all your lines go away because it's in white but take the opacity of this layer down to about fifty percent and then save it and you can see how people end up getting like a faded effect like a sheer see-through material that's how they do it is they don't make it completely black they make it gray so yeah and then you can still see where our white lines were that we drew and you can also see the sheerness of it. And I guess if you really wanted to see it better, you can actually apply the opacity map to the texture area. And yeah, there it is. See, it's sheer, and you got your white lines. So let's just delete all these layers now, except for the black layer. And you can go ahead and hide that so that you can see the actual opacity map. They're also called like wire maps or wire mesh maps. It doesn't matter. As long as it, if you hear map on it, it's referring to this type of picture. But let's get a brush. Um, you can do any size really. And hmm. there's two ways you can go about this most of the times. You can have a black layer and draw on the white of what you want to show up, or adversely, you could have a white layer and draw on the black of what you don't want to show up. And what I mean by that is here is our black layer, and say we want the whole shirt to show up. Hide the black layer so you can see it, and just color it all white and then make this show up again control E to save it and then apply it and there everything will show up and that that's not sheer right now it's still gray because the texture is gray but if you apply it there you're gonna have a whole white shirt yay but what I mean by having you can by having a white layer you can draw on the black so that it's easier to have what you don't want to show up and when you do that just fade the white halfway at, mine's actually at 30 but then you can use the brush change it to black take the size down a little bit and say like right here at the collar you want to make the collar a little bit bigger you can just color it black but only do it on one side work on like the left side of the layer because then you're going to want to duplicate the layer and flip it to the right and that's probably like a lot to say right now but you see what I mean whenever say like I'm going to take this sleeve off because maybe I want to have a tank top 
I also want to make the back of the shirt go down lower so I'll color that out and maybe I want the armholes to be a bit wider and just color it okay and you see right here how you get the shoulder strap and there's also this the front part of the shoulder strap try and get those by a vision uh, as close as you can to being the same length or width so that it looks even and better okay but I've only colored on one side of this now duplicate this layer with this button right here and then come over here to the flip a button and then flip it and it automatically as long as your mesh is the same size it will flip it the correct way if it doesn't then you've probably accidentally moved a layer and you need to try and fix it by finding it and moving it but okay then come back to your white layer move the opacity back up and then save it now you can come over here to IMVU find it and put it on the opacity mat layer and there you've taken off the sleeves and they don't line up perfectly so you'll have to fix that slowly on your own and but there's the collar and to get rid of the collar to get rid of the collar you just come back to the text to the opacity map hide the white and you can do this on a whole new layer if you need to but color it all black because you probably don't want the collar to show up unless you're making a turtleneck in that case you don't have to hide it but yep yeah, save it again back to IMVU and there we go no more collar um, I think this pretty much touches based on how opacity maps work. <laughs> but yeah, um, I can show you how to fix the sleeve, but it's really boring. You just hide this again, and make another new layer. You're going to want to look at IMBU and see that either the back straps need to come out more or the front straps need to go in more. And I think it's going to be easier to work with the back straps. So you need to see that this is going to be the outer left side of the layer. So go to the outer left side, wherever it is, there it is. And start a new layer and pencil that a little bit color it paintbrush it whatever you want to call it and duplicate it and then flip it it seems like a really mundane task I know then this can be kind of confusing you're going to let the white layer appear again but take the opacity down a little bit then come to this top layer use a white color this time and just draw right here you can go up in the brush a little bit if you need to but just thicken up that strap a little bit then duplicate the layer flip it and then come back to your white layer make the opacity all the way up again and save it and hopefully this fixes the backstrap problem and they'll line up yeah there you go it's not perfect but you've gotten the idea of how you would fix something like that so yeah